If you're like me and put off getting the exotic Parasite, then this is the video for you. Parasite came out with Witch Queen DLC and is obtained via completing a quest called Of Queens and Worms after beating the Witch Queen campaign. This quest took me about two and a half hours to do, but I was moving a little slow, so you could definitely get this done faster. If you have not yet finished the Witch Queen campaign, there will be spoilers. You have been warned. The first step in this questline is to go speak with Marasov in the Enclave on Mars. She is going to be down some stairs behind where you craft the weapons. After you have spoken to her, you will then need to go do the strike birthplace of the vial, which you can start in the throne world right here. Once you kill the boss, there will be a deep site you can grab, and the deep site will reveal a podium where you can put the worm. After the strike, you will need to go speak with Finch, and Finch will send you on a trip. You will need to trek to the Temple of the Cunning. If you just follow your waypoint, you will get there eventually, but it does take a bit of time. I don't know if there are any shortcuts at all, I didn't see any. But I will be showing my pathing at 4 times speed in case you need it. You can just slow it down if it's too fast for you. Once you get to where the waypoint is leading you, you will need to kill three waves of adds and a boss. After that, you will be given a cryptoglyph rune and you can move on to the next step. The next step is to kill 100 scorn on the throne. I don't know where the best place to actually do this is. I just stayed in the quagmire section, stood on top of some rocks where I had a good vantage point of a lot of different spawning locations and used Trinity Ghoul to instantly delete them. If you know of a better score in farming spot or method, comment down below because it did take me a decent after you have all 100 scorn scalps, you will need to run to the Sepulchre Lost Sector in the Fluorescent Canal. Wait, wait, is, isn't that supposed to be spelled with a U? Like fluorescent? Am I missing something? Or is this meant to be pronounced fluorescent? Anyway, once the Lost Sector is complete, there will be another deep sight buff to pick up. And with the deep sight, there will be a secret passage unlocked. This secret passage will be yet another lectern for you to put your new pet on. After some more dialogue between the queen and the worm, you will need to do some patrols in the four cent canal. <laughs> I am never going to be able to stop calling it that now. Some of these patrols can be annoying, but you only need to do three, so it's not too bad. After completing the required patrols, you will need to go find another cryptoglyph, but this time in the queen's bailey. I just looked it up and apparently a bailey is a courtyard inside the outer wall of a castle. The more you know. After following your waypoint to this section, you will need to kill three waves of ads, followed by a boss, just like you did in the temple of the cutting. After that, you will be given your second out of three cryptoglyph rooms. Now, you need to go find the Metamorphosis Lost Sector located in the Miasma and do that one. And just like the previous Lost Sector you did, there will be a deep sight buff at the end and a secret passageway leading to another pedestal to put your new best friend on. Once you've done that, you can head to the Alluring Curtain to get the last of your cryptoglyph rooms. Same thing as the last two, except it's actually not. There will be a green door blocking your way and a group of adds with a light bearer blocking. You will need to take them out to open the door. Once inside, you will find out the cryptoglyph rune isn't even there, and you will need to head back outside and use some of that vision magic, as Finch calls it, to spawn these platforms in the air. On these platforms, there will be three torches you will need to activate. In order to activate them, you just need to shoot them. Once you've shot all three, you will spawn a chest next to where you grab the deep sight buff, and in the chest is your last cryptoglyph. After that, you go do the extraction loss sector, located in the quagmire. Same thing, there's a secret passage activated by Deep Sight after you beat the boss, and another pulpit to put your naked mole rat on. Go speak with Finch once again, and then you have one last mission to do. By the way, if you found this guide helpful so far, please like and subscribe to let me know I should make more content like this. This last mission is quite hilarious, but I'll leave you to figure this last bit out. I did do it solo, but it probably would be quite a bit easier with at least one other teammate. Anyway, once you have completed the mission, you now have your very own leech launcher. Because who doesn't like flinging exploding worms out of a handheld cannon?